Hello everybody, this is Abraham on Northshore Computer Services. What we have here is a wickedly modified Mac, iMac 27 inch with uh, two terabyte hard drive here, four terabyte hard drive here, the third connector in the back comes out over here and allows us to connect SATA externally. Uh, I don't know yet if it's a 3 gigabit or 4 gig or 6 gigabit data transfer, but uh, it'll be faster than the USB 2 that this Mac has, and that's been a problem, the USB 2 connection. So what, what, what we do here is, uh, what we had to do here, is pull out the motherboard, get the connector, or I should say the SATA cable, to the connector and uh, the biggest problem that I found was how do you pull the data cable out of the Mac because it's sealed on all sides and in the front you have the LCD and then a glass and everything is neatly packed so after looking I found that if I don't put the memory uh, cover back on there is actually a space from the inside, let's see if I could there that you can fish the cable through. I did have to make a little cut on the plastic in there. Uh, if somebody decides to go and update their Mac, they'll see that there is a opening, and but you have to cut through it. You cannot fish the cable through it because it's the ends won't fit. So there is a little cut that I had to make. Let's see if I could maybe. So there is the cut right there, and then I put the cable through. There are several of these holes there. Uh, they're plastic, not uh, metal, and cutting it will not harm anything. So you could still use the memory, you just can't put the bracket back on. But for what I do with this computer, bracket is the least of my problems. Uh, I can still add two more. Uh, banks of memory so um, this one has four memory slots in it <laughs> all right well uh, let's see I have assembled everything let's just power it up and see if uh, our drives are operational what I also want to do is connect the third drive and uh, the only way we could connect the third drive is by splitting a power cable over here. Excuse me for wiggly and jiggly camera. I forgot about the third drive. So now we have the power connector split and we're just going to take a hard drive and leave it hanging. Hopefully we won't short circuit anything. Now I've done this a million times and still things happen. So there you go. If you want this done to your Mac and you're asking questions like what type of screwdriver what size of screwdriver I'm gonna I'm gonna have to use do not do this this is highly skilled um, modification so we have three hard drives connected to a Mac let's power it up I guess we have to plug it in first it was smart of me to unplug it now one thing that you do want to make notice of, this is a power supply. This has a lot of exposed high voltage pins. I'm not sure why they didn't cover it with plastic, but if you touch it, you're going to get zapped. I don't think you'll get electrocuted, but you'll definitely get zapped. So it's powered up. Got our Mac connected to an external monitor <coughs> because there's a couple of uh, temperature sensor missing the 
fans are gonna go wild and it should boot into Windows. Okay, we're gonna have to force boot it. I think I know what happened. One of the drives that I used. Okay, let's just pick a different drive. Got one over here. Now, as you notice, I did not disconnect the power supply, which is not a smart thing to do. Okay. So, don't do that. Always disconnect the power supply. All right, try it again. So while it's booting, as I was uh, working with this Mac, I was trying to update it to Windows 10 and I seem to have had a weird problem where it did not want to update to Windows 10. Yeah, that was the Windows 10 update disk. Whenever I put it in, it just gives me a black screen, would not boot, would not go forward, would not go backward. I tried to do it through boot camp. So not sure I couldn't couldn't get this one updated to Windows 10 might be that the processor or something was going on so there you go we have Windows up and we're gonna go into management and well not device but disk manager come on And in the disk manager, you can see that this Mac has three hard drives. The first one is two terabyte hard drive. And uh, uh, in a future videos, I'm gonna show what I did. So this one was originally a one terabyte hard drive. I've upgraded it to two terabyte hard drive. And now we have the one terabyte of available space that I haven't done anything yet. We have a four terabyte hard drive, and uh, the last one was just being recognized. So, and this one is one terabyte hard drive. So, a total on this Mac, we have four plus two plus one, uh, seven terabytes of available disk space to do whatever we want with. Now, this Mac has a very specific use, that's why I need so much empty space. I do not do movie editing on it, but you could if you want to, and you can save a lot of movies. Um, I do not trust any hard drives, so backing up is going to be a nightmare, but I'm going to have to figure that one out. I do have uh, the Thunderbolt connector on it and I do have a Thunderbolt interface Thunderbolt to SATA thing right here uh, but for some reason it's not as uh, reliable as SATA and uh, I haven't been impressed with the speeds so right now the Thunderbolt is connected to a monitor so let's see there you go that's the Thunderbolt to monitor converter. So that's how I work on Macs that, uh, you know, when you have the screen taken out and you still need to see stuff, that's how you do it. If you have any questions, please ask. Otherwise, have a good day. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe.